Hello again. This is LH Crypto Weekly Analysis. Hi. Catherine and as Andre usual. are here. As usual. Right. So, what's up for today? Uh -huh. We're going to talk about guess what? Guess what? Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, cryptocurrencies uh -huh. and uh, some new stuff uh, produced in crypto world. Uh -huh. And some old stuff that is not going to be produced ever, looks like that, Libra. <laughs> right. And some really old stuff which is extracted from Earth and called oil. And you know, platinum, sorry. Yeah, it's, 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 it's again a market maker this week. And gas. <laughs> yeah, by the way. So just a couple of um, precious metals news uh, and company news and economic calendar. As usual as usual, but much better and much more optimistic again. So, uh, let's go. So, uh, actually Bitcoin seems to be reversing again. It has been falling, well, uh, in the beginning of the week it fell below 10,000 uh, and everyone thought it would like dive down to 9. 9500 but now it's bouncing back and seen it seems to be like going on an upward trend is it or the agree? bounce is although not that great as they yeah. expected you know everybody wants the 2000 bounce 3000 bounce in a moment and then they bounce back and here we are uh, plus 100 grams in your pocket well it's not the time i just i mean i look at it and my heart tells me that it may go up as high as uh, 11,000 by the end of the weekend. Does it bounce like Bitcoin these days? It bounces when Bitcoin bounces, <laughs> yeah. Well, and my heart bounces. Every time I think how I might use my uh, pathetic laptop just 10 years ago with really powerful video card, the oh. point is that this week one of the largest world manufacturers of mining cryptocurrency equipment, Chinese, of course, company Bitmain has announced the renowned model of uh, its most powerful and for now most effective uh, equipment for mining cryptocurrencies. Well, the major benefit of it is that it consumes less energy. The major uh, feature of the renowned equipment is that it has a really powerful software now with higher protection from frauds, from uh, cyber attacks. Libra. So uh, they, yeah, they went to the Swiss regulatory authorities and said, hey, we want to regulate here. We want to be a payment system in your wonderful country. And the Switzerland said, well, you may, but you look like a really promising project that is going to be a global payment system or more. So we're going to put some regulations and laws for you that are just the same as banks or maybe even tighter because you're going to be like the best of the best or the most popular thing and we want to control you really well so i really don't know how they're gonna like if they're gonna meet these requirements if they ever want to and uh so like it looks like it's going to be postponed again and again hmm. So back to the real world and to the hot topics of the week, which disappointedly are the same, absolutely the same as they were the previous week. So the newsmakers are all the same. Uh, we are all tired of Brexit series and now we are watching the US trade war series and all that oil series. But the whole week saw the general warming of the relationships. No new negative sim signals were coming mm -hmm. from either side. Uh, when finally President Donald Trump, wow, who would ever imagine, uh, said that it, there was made, the decision was made to postpone the implementation of the next two phases of sanctions against China. Although they said the Chinese side must have sort of blackmailed Trump, uh, saying that they will, in case other sanctions will be implemented, hit the agricultural sector of the US, which is much more vulnerable than even the automobile industry. Uh, well, whatever it is, it is for good for both sides. So Chinese and stocks, the whole world. Chinese stocks, and for those who invested in Chinese stocks, because they rose in the UN, rose and they hit a three-week high. 
Well, that's good news, but also uh, the markets, the commodities, the metals market show that people are not as optimistic and not, not going to trust that everything's going to be uh, well. Well, uh, and since uh, platinum has increased in rates by 9.5 percent, which uh, in a week, which it has not had not done in eight years, so um, we like uh, Andrew and I we keep saying that. Oh, gold is a safe harbor. Silver might be the safe harbor. Well, now platinum is the safe harbor. And people look like, okay, gold is overrated. Gold seems like a, like a balloon that it's about to blow. Oil prices rose for the fifth straight day this last week and rising to the highest level for six weeks because presidents of US and China added to the price and also Saudi Arabia, you know, they shifted mm. the energy minister or something like that and they were really scared that he would disagree on OPEC plus agreement and uh, you know, the union will break the brotherhood of the ring and the barrel will uh, fall again, yeah, but he um, confirmed the allegiance to the agreement and that surely pushed the prices up. All the concerns were that some of the members like Nigeria, uh, Russia, who did not comply to the requirements of their shortening supplies. But they promised to yeah. in the future. Well, actually all these guys, these countries are ruled by men, so men have to keep to their words. Uh, People have to keep to their word. Definitely. <laughs> Okay. Так. Uh, yeah, but but later this all went down as soon as Mr. Trump said uh, Mr. Bolton, a U.S. national security advisor, now ex for retirement. Uh, so the, Mr. Bolton, known as the main enemy of any uh, softening between Iran and Aww. U.S. Aww. Yep. Uh, so. Marcus were right to read the signal because shortly after rumors appeared that Mr. Trump said, well, he, he may have uh, cut all the sanctions from Iran, which brings another million barrels of oil in market. So, and it had a sharp drop since 59 to 54 USD per crude oil futures. Scientists from the American Institute Rocky Mountain uh, claimed that by 2030, 35 there will be no gas whatsoever and nobody's gonna use gas everyone should uh, well will just simply will uh, turn to uh, renewables because they are going to be um, less costly isn't it wonderful so just uh, think about long term and think about all the people who are gonna sell their gas and how its price is going to decrease in the next several years what I'm gonna to turn to next is also someone losing in price, and it's Uber. Who lost around 5.2 billion USD in the second quarter of 2019, and compared to like only eight or 900 million losses in the same period last year. So they have to fire 400 people, which is around 8% of their total staff, administrative staff, and it's absolutely no good sign. So, well, for the last two weeks, uh, well, for the last week, their stocks grew by 5-7% uh, of its bottom 30 USD per share. But generally, uh, it has, be has been falling since the beginning of August, and I don't see any reasons why it should stop. So Whenever they see any reason for that, I never recommended it. Hmm. But still, you may short the stocks. Well, yes. Yeah, why not? Because uh, the fall has to stop somewhere. Uber, you cannot go on like this forever. Hmm. Uh, perhaps uh, some next week's statistics will help you. Okay. Well, back to the economic calendar. Sunday, September. Well, a good day for industrial production year to year in August in China. Well, perhaps yeah. we'll see just another positive news on the uh, second largest economy. Tuesday, September. Well, now listen, the German Zentrum für Europäische Wirtschaftsforschung. We really e had to use Google Lady to pronounce all that. <laughs> Suppose so. Okay, Economic Sentiment Index, which gorges the six-month economic outlook. And if we see the level above zero, it indicates optimism of the economy. Below indicates pessimism. Some why 
We never covered it in our previous episodes. Oh, they really? think that the index will be below. So Wednesday, September, just the historical day for Europe, at least for the next week. CPI year to year uh, for August in UK and Europe. Yeah, or oh, Granny, will you fight against US who will announce uh, Thorne's decision on cutting the rate again? Ah, this is gonna be bloody Wednesday indeed. So th uh, comparing to this, Thursday, September 19 is nothing. Retail sales in UK month over month. So oh, can't wait. Let's run and buy USD. Okay, uh, it's Friday. So uh, have a great of your weekend. See you next week. Oh, just forgot. Someone else will see you next week. Yeah, we have a surprise for you. Yeah, quite a surprise. So enjoy your weekend and stay amused for these next seven days. Bye.